Hi, Jason here, and in this video, I'm hopefully going to answer the question for you. Chat GPT Plus, is it worth it? So is it worth actually upgrading or should we just carry on with the free version, which you might be on now? So and I've been using Chat GPT on its own for a long time. And then, of course, the moment that I was able to upgrade to Chat GPT Plus, I did. And now I only use that and I've been using it extensively. Cost wise, it's $20 per month for me here in the UK. I think in some certain areas of the world, there's taxes involved that get added on, but not loads. So it's not a huge difference. We'll call it roughly $20. Um, well, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to actually give both of them. You've got Chat GPT Plus on the left of my screen chat GPT standard free version which I was able to log into with no problems today at all and then I'm just going to paste in the same thing I'm also going to show you how to upgrade as well if you decide that you would like to do that after watching this um, so let's first of all get both of them at the exact same time to write a 500 word article so we're going to give them effectively like a speed test a little while ago uh, only about probably two weeks ago maximum, the ChatGPT Plus had a turbo mode, which then literally the day after I filmed a video on it became the standard mode. So previously it was turbo and kind of default. Now the default is turbo. And then you've got the legacy version, which was the previous ChatGPT Plus model. So I'm going to go with default, which has been optimized for speed, and I'm going to paste in the command right here. I better get it ready to go on both of them. Uh, so we've got ChatGPT on the right here, the standard. I might just give it a teeny weeny head start by doing it first. So here we go. Let's submit and submit. There you go. There was literally a matter of milliseconds between the two of them. And as you can see, uh, ChatGPT Plus is already in the lead here flying away with this 500 word article that I have got it to write uh, about the benefits of using AI for small business owners and in particular uh, when it comes to internet marketing and using chat GPT. So uh, you can see, yeah, I mean, it's really pulling away now chat GPT plus. And if time is you know of importance to you, you don't have much of it, uh, maybe you've got more money than time, then it makes sense surely to just pay that $20. I mean, I wish that ChatGPT had an affiliate program because I'd be <laughs> using it in all of my all of my videos, but they don't. So there's no uh, benefit for me uh, in terms of you buying this at all. It makes no difference to me. Um, but you can see there's a definite clear benefit. It's interesting that it's written it a little bit differently as well too. I haven't really seen a difference in the quality of output from each of the two different versions of ChatGPT. But on the right there, so first of all, we can say uh, that ChatGPT Plus has finished the job. There it is, all finished. And the free version is still going, but it's done a little bit more of the classic writing style of ChatGPT that we were used to in the very beginning, which is this kind of numbered, you know, one, two, three, four list. But it's still good content. Um, you know, we can take a little look at it. Let's just have a little look at what it's written first. Let's have a look at the introductory sentence. Um, artificial intelligence is revolutionizing the way small business owners conduct their operations. AI powered tools and software have become more accessible and affordable, enabling small businesses to leverage the technology for their marketing efforts, online presence and customer service. And this article will explore the benefits of using AI for small business owners with a focus on its use in internet marketing and chat box like chat GPT. Pretty good introduction. And the free version is now finished and just this moment named this chat. So it's still done a good job for free and it's not exactly a deal breaker, the, the difference in length of time. Now let's go over to the plus version and see what it wrote as the introduction. Small business owners are always looking for new and innovative ways to stay ahead of the competition. With the advent of artificial intelligence, AI in brackets, entrepreneurs now have a powerful tool at their disposal to improve their business operations and drive growth. In this article, we will explore the benefits of using AI for small business owners, especially in the areas of internet marketing and chatbot technology. So an equally good 
introduction to the article that it's written, I think. Um, so they're both pretty good at writing articles. The difference really only there is speed. And of course, reliability, because ChatGPT Plus, you know, has only, it's only messed up once for me during the time that I've used it. Uh, and that was also the same time it all of chat GPT was out. I think it was about a week ago. Like the whole lot was just, you couldn't log in. There was weird error message, error messages coming up that I hadn't seen before. So there was definitely some background problems going on there. But let's try just another prompt here for both of them. And by the way, I've got a free chat GPT community that you can join. There's a link underneath this video that you'll find very useful. There's people from all around the world using chat GPT. And a lot of them are in my group and they're coming out with all kinds of great prompts and things that they've been using to help their business. So just click the link underneath. It's completely free to join. And you can also see all of the YouTube tutorial videos that I've ever done on ChatGPT as well in the classroom. There's a little link at the top of the uh, free community that says classroom. Click on there and you can have a little look and hopefully learn some stuff about ChatGPT. So here we go. We've got them both lined up. And just as a reminder, the free version is on the right and the paid plus version is on the left. Once again, I'm going to give the free version that first little click here. So one and over to here and two. So about one second advantage to the free version. And um, by the way, I've put name five of the very best books to help entrepreneurs grow their business. Um, we're already on book number two here for the plus version. And uh, let's just see, it'd be interesting to note if they do the same books as well. But uh, Plus Version has gone for The Lean Startup by Eric Reese. That is a classic book, uh, a really good one. Then you've got The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey, another really, really well-known one. Good to Great by Jim Collins. I didn't really like that. I found it really corporate and boring and goodness knows how many examples of it. But it is, it is a, a allegedly a good book with good reviews. So they are right. And then The E-Myth Revisited by Michael Gerber, another famous one. I've got that over here somewhere. Uh, Zero to One by Peter Thiel, um, successful entrepreneur and venture capitalist. Of course, I think he had something to do with uh, PayPal as well and all sorts of other stuff. So those are all probably um, great choices. Now we've got our free one over on the right hand side. They have finished up to. There's only one book difference, I think, there. So we've got uh, one, The Lean Startup. You know, again, we've got that over here, did we or not? Oh, no, we had um, E-Myth. Eric Reese, let's go up to the top. Yeah, we did have it. So they both started off with The Lean Startup, interestingly, as number one. Uh, then we've got Zero to One um, by Peter Thiel. So the yes. And then we've got E-Myth. And then we've got Good to Great and Seven. So they have picked the same. They just did it in a different order. Uh, so that's really interesting that they've both come up with the exact same five books. And uh, there we are. So very, very good. The free version did just as good a job, really, as the plus. And then the final question, I'll just give it a kind of a maths question here. And that is to just work out simply what $20 per month would equate to per day if you took out the subscription for a year. So let's just try it. We'll we'll go again. We'll go the free version. Here we go. One and then the plus version go. Let's see. It always takes a little bit longer to think about it, doesn't it? The free version looking at this. By the way, if you're finding this useful, feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more chat GPT stuff. I'm making loads of videos about it at the moment because it's crazy fun, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. There you go. It looks like it's all done in plus and it's explained its mythology. A mytholo I don't even know how to say that. Mythology? Methodically? I don't know how to say it. So it's explained itself as to why it worked out uh, this, which it's saying is $1.67 per day. So let's go through that. $20 per month times $12 per, or sorry, 12 months per year equals $1.67 per month. That's what it's oh, divided by. Yeah, so the little slash there, the forward slash is divided by. Um, and there it is. So they, have they come up with the same? So it's done it a different way. Isn't that interesting? The free version's done it a different way. It's done $20 a month times 12 months equals $240 a year. And then dividing that amount by 365. 
And then it's come up that actually that would be uh, 65 cents a day, roughly. So that is correct. And the other the other way and plus, amazingly, who's taken exactly the same prompt has got it wrong. So uh, unless I'm crazily mistaken as well, but that's how I would work it out. How the free version has done it is exactly how I would calculate it. I just go 20 times 12 divided by 365 and there's your answer. But I don't really know what this has done. Um, this has really, really messed things up a little bit. So there you go. The plus version, although it's faster, may not give you an accurate answer. So you've got to beware of that. Um, but do I think it's worth upgrading? Yes, I do. I think you would probably, in the case of this instance here, just to say that that, that is incorrect and you need to have another go at that. And do you need any clarification? That's probably what I do here. And then press uh, go and then see what it came back with. I'm sure it would come back with the right answer eventually. But you certainly, you know, couldn't take it as red here that it would get it right first time. But if you do want to upgrade, you can do it down here. Can you see there it's got upgrade to plus? Let me just zoom in. And you just click it and then you fill out your card details. And then you immediately get the benefits of having chat GPT plus. Um, except don't trust it on maths. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video very soon. Take care.